Fursuits are a large part of the furry fandom, whether someone is creating or wearing them. They're probably one of the biggest things the fandom is known for, and they're wonderful works of art. Whether a fursuit is super adorable or super cool, they're all unique. But I think furries need a reminder that there are real-life human beings inside of those fursuits. Hello everyone, I'm Solar Saber, and today I'll be going over some fursuit etiquette, which is just a fancy word for polite behavior. In the majority of this video, I'll cover how you should interact with a fursuiter, and in the last part, I'll cover some things fursuiters should know as well. This will be focused on non-fursuiters interacting with fursuiters though, simply because a lot of y'all don't know how to act. So, although I am a fursuiter myself, I've only worn my suit in public one time, at Furry Weekend Atlanta 2022. Because I don't have a lot of experience suiting, I asked my followers on Twitter what they wish non-suiters knew when interacting with them. So I'll be covering the ones that were mentioned or liked a lot, as well as some things that weren't mentioned but I found important. To start off, I think this is the most important rule. Do not touch a fursuiter without permission. You wouldn't go up to a stranger and randomly touch them. At least I hope you would not. So you shouldn't randomly touch a fursuiter either. Some fursuiters are okay with being touched, and some aren't. You won't know which kind of person you're dealing with unless you ask. Me personally, I don't like anyone touching me in fursuit unless I give them permission. And I'm a pretty touchy person, it's just about respect. I'm usually the one to initiate physical contact, but I always ask first. Multiple people on Twitter brought up the fact people will boop their snoots without asking first, and this can cause issues depending on the fursuiter. Some fursuit heads are made of resin, and when you push on their muzzle, it can actually cause the person in the suit pain. Some fursuiters wear glasses inside of their head, and again, pushing on the muzzle will cause them pain. Anyway, I want to emphasize this point because I've seen people make fursuiters uncomfortable by touching them without permission. Just ask. Speaking of asking, another thing multiple fursuiters mentioned is that you may need to speak up in order for them to hear you. Fursuit heads make it harder for suitors to hear what's going on around them, so you may need to raise your voice a little. Some also said it was helpful for people to talk with their hands. For example, if you wanted to take a picture with a fursuiter, make the photo taking motion with your hands. This, combined with raising your voice slightly, can make it easier for a fursuiter to understand what you're trying to say. I also want to add to this point that many fursuiters don't like to talk while they're suiting because they're in character. So if you run across one like that, don't ask questions that would require more than a simple yes or no head nod. Along with limited hearing, fursuiters also have very limited sight. Most have no peripheral vision and many blind spots. Because of this, you really shouldn't approach a fursuiter from behind, as you can accidentally scare or confuse them. You also should not stop directly in front of a fursuiter while walking, because they might not see you and run into you. The best way to approach a fursuiter is to approach them from the front, announce that you're there with a friendly greeting, and include some friendly body language like a wave so they know you're trying to get their attention. Anyway, another point I'd like to bring up is the fact that fursuiters need breaks. So don't get offended or upset if you ask for a picture or try to talk to one and they ignore you and keep walking. Chances are, they didn't hear you, they didn't see you, or they're about to overheat and pass out. So they're going to go take off their fursuit and drink water. Along with this, you should not be mean or rude to fursuiters you see poodling which is wearing a fursuit but showing your skin. This term comes from the fact that fursuiters who do this look like they have a poodle cut. Someone replied to my tweet saying someone demanded they put their fursuit head back on so they could take a picture of them, which is not okay. Like this person said, most fursuiters don't suit in character anymore, so you shouldn't expect them to keep their suit fully on at all times. And because fursuiters need breaks, you should prioritize them when it comes to elevators. This is more of a convention rule, but elevators can take a long, long time to come with all the people at a convention, and people have to be packed into them. If you're waiting for an elevator, fursuiters take priority getting on, because they're most likely going to the room to cool down and rehydrate. This isn't a furry thing, but many disabled people come to furry conventions, so I'll say it anyway. You should also prioritize disabled people when it comes to elevators, because usually they can't take the stairs, and the elevator is their only option. Now I'd like to briefly move on to some things I think fursuiters should do as well. My number one tip would be, wear deodorant. Please. I'm begging you. Like antiperspirant deodorant, not just the smell masking deodorant. Wearing a fursuit is literally like walking around with a giant fur carpet on you, so you will sweat very quickly. If you don't take steps to fight that sweat, you will stink. And like I said, elevators at conventions are extremely packed. I almost threw up one time in a packed elevator because some people smelled that bad. Wear deodorant. Reapply deodorant. Hygiene is cool and great.
as a fursuiter, you should also wear something like Under Armour under your fursuit, as well as a head cover to help sweat not stick to your fursuit. Wearing a fursuit with nothing on underneath but your underwear would not only be uncomfortable, but it will make your suit smell worse quicker. Invest in multiple sets of Under Armour so you're not wearing the same set the entire convention. Wearing stuff under your fursuit like this also makes it a lot easier to clean. And that's all I have to say about fursuit etiquette. Was this video helpful to you? Let me know in the comments! Thank you so much for watching, and remember, shine bright!